Oh, hi guys. Well, you know where I have snuck into is the costume and wig shop of the Houston Grand Opera that had to relocate after Harvey. We're going to take a look at what it took to rebuild inside what was once a bank. All right, Mel Camp, thanks. We'll check in with you in just a little while. And now let's check back in with Mel Camp, who is out live at the costume shop where the Houston Grand Opera stores all of its treasures. Hi, Mel. Uh-oh. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah, we're going to take a look at what it has taken for the Houston Grand Opera to rebuild their costume shop and wig shop. Did you know 35 years of work was destroyed with Harvey? So we're looking at what that took and where they are now, and it's pretty amazing. That's on the way on Houston Life. See you in 20 minutes. Okay. Well, as we reflect, continue to reflect on the five-year anniversary of Hurricane Harvey today, another image that comes to mind is the widespread damage among Houston's buildings. But it was more than just buildings damage. Yeah, the people who work in those buildings lost their lifelong work. The Houston Grand Opera suffered about $100 million worth of damage. When Hurricane Harvey flooded the Wortham Theater Center, the Houston Grand Opera saw some things change forever. With stages damaged at the time, HGO scrambled to find new locations for upcoming performances. Under 14 feet of water, the HGO costume and wig shop lost more than $4 million worth of costumes and wigs. And because of Harvey, the shop moved out of the Wortham Theater Center permanently, eventually finding a brand new home on Leland Street in Edo. It is incredible. The theater district really was underwater. Literally, Mel Camp is joining us live from the new costume shop over in Edo. Hi, Mel. Where are you? Hi, guys. I am over here and it, in what used to be the bank. But this is amazing. I have wrangled some of the awesome people from the Houston Grand Opera, including Corey, who is the general director and CEO of Houston Grand Opera. Corey, thanks for having us here today and showing us inside. It's been amazing. Thanks for coming over. Now, we just saw a little bit of the devastation that everyone had to get through. I mean, how did people get through it during that time? We got through by working, by getting to work for the Houstonians who needed us most. Um, you know, in moments, and we saw this in COVID, when the chips are down, we need art, we need connection, we need beauty, we need music. And so our team, eight days after Harvey, was back to work, making sure that we could open our season and make sure the beautiful music was gonna keep going on for the people of this city, because they stood by us and we were gonna stand by them. It's so amazing. We're so lucky to have the Houston Grand Opera. It's just it's just such an amazing organization. And, and speaking of those people who kept the show going because the show must go on, go on. Dottie, you lost 34 years of your life's work. I mean, this is some of it, but <laughs> I, I mean, recent work, recent work. How yes. did you get through it? Well, I didn't really have time to grieve because we had to get on with the show um, and the outpouring of support and and love from my colleagues across the continent was so overwhelmingly heartwarming. They offered me all kinds of, of wigs to borrow and things so that I could because I honestly They had... came in from everywhere, didn't they? I mean, yeah, even Canada did. sent. It's amazing yeah. when the chips are down how much the whole world will have your back. I think that's a yeah. beautiful thing. And there's just so much resilience here. I mean, this is your team, Norma. You, you take care of this whole shop. What's it like working with these people? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, I think the resilience that my crew has is just amazing. Going from Harvey to COVID and still continuing to keep being positive and, you know, working hard, I think it's one of the most amazing things that HGO has um, in, in, in our, in, you know, within ourselves, you know, it's like yeah. we do have so much, so much talented people that it's just really very grateful. Do. And it is amazing to see behind the scenes like this and to see just a little part of what goes into making fabulous opera here in this city. And coming up, you have some great shows, Corey. Yeah, it's amazing to think five years later, we're doing the same opera, Verdi's La Traviata, the most popular piece ever written. Um, and we're hard at work being able to welcome our audiences back in October, hgo.org, um, if you're interested in joining us. But what I would say is this, Mel, um, Houston is defined by the people who live here. The grand and grand opera is our team. It's people like Dottie, it's people like Norma, it's people like you at home who support us. So whether you're into jazz, spoken word, dance, whatever it is, just remember to stand by the arts community. Make your gift today to any of the wonderful organizations that make Houston such a great place to live. That's amazing, Corey. Thank you so, so much. And Derek and Courtney, take a look at those wings. <laughs>
Those are beautiful. beautiful, and those will be on stage with La Traviata. Very, very nice. And I know that Dottie and Norma pay great attention to detail. Phenomenally talented. Mel, thank you so much, and glad those costumes are in a safe and dry new home. For sure.